defense manually. Automatically and out at first score at 6 3. Center fielder Devon White climbs the wall, makes the grab. In football, Daryl Green hey. with a one handed catch and a beauty. And don't you hate when this happens? The bat flies, oh. almost nails the runner, and the go ahead run scores. Speaking of which, you can take an eye out here. Oh, good. Oh, record numbers 4 million and 1. The magic numbers as the Blue Jays take on the Angels. Next on TSN. Blue Jays Baseball on TSN. Brought to you by Labatt's Blue. Now you're laughing. And by Esso Associates and Imperial Oil. You're on your way with Esso. And by your local bottler of Coca-Cola Classic. You can't beat the real thing. It's an historic night at Skydome as the Toronto Blue Jays try and clinch the East in front of their four million fans. As the players get set inside, it's a festive move outside of Sky Dome. Hello, I'm Jim Houston with Buck Martinez. We're pleased to be a part of this night of the four millionth fan. Glad you could be a part of it, too. Who could have imagined on April 7th, 1977, in that uh, snow-covered game down by the lake, that in 91, the Blue Jays would be playing for a championship under a retractable dome with their four millionth fan watching. It's an incredible success story. What's the secret? Jim, there's no magic to it. They put a good product on the field, and the fans want to see it. The Blue Jays have been very successful on the field. They've got a good ball club, and once again, they're competing for a championship, and that's why they draw on four million people. Let's put this four million and fan business into perspective there were many years in the early days of the American League when the whole league didn't draw four million fans and the state-of-the-art franchise I guess has been the Dodgers and in Southern California they've only been able to get to 3.6 million well there's a lot of pride surrounding the Toronto Blue Jays and it's national pride because people in Canada think this is their national team Blue Jays done a great job of marketing but it still gets back to that bottom line you got to have a winning baseball club there's the makings of a big party inside and I'm gonna get in to be a big part of it I've uh, got a ticket so I'll see you inside all right now, I need okay? to pick mine up Hey, uh, buddy, you're going to be long? Hey, hey Paul, hey, what's up? I had tickets left over by Buck Martinez, and they're not here. They're not there. They should Once be. Once again. Well, let me tell you, what did you feel like? Four million fans. Did you think you'd ever accomplish that? Well, I never thought we'd do a Buck, but, uh, you know, we set out at the beginning of the year, and Bob Nicholson, Mark, and their group uh, used that as a goal. Uh, I think they've achieved it as of tonight, and I think they're all very proud, and they should be. Well, they certainly should. Where do you go from here? How do you top this? Well, I think we can only top it by going a little bit further this year. I mean, we can add a few more games at the end of the season. Um, we got a couple in the playoffs, a couple in the World Series, and it would be a wonderful conclusion. Inside, on the mound, Tom Candiotti and his knuckleball go up against right-hander Joe Gray of the California Angels. This is Labatt's Blue Jays baseball on TSN. 